All right, we're going to uh, do Down the Dirt Road Blues now by Charlie Patton. Capo it up one fret, playing in C position. Uh, we're going to start by just basically playing one note uh, as we sing the melody, and we're going to go up here. And I'm just pl I'm just playing the, the one note. This is like a C sharp. And just play it with your index finger of your right hand. So that's the uh, uh, ninth fret to the seventh fret to the third fret. And you'll be singing with that. Now comes the first riff. And it's you're at the fourth, uh, third fret E. And you're going to do this riff. Play the B at the fifth fret. Back to the E at the third to the G at the sixth, to the open G. Now the D string, third fret. Make a C chord. Just play the first uh, two strings of a C chord. You're actually going to play, you're going to pull the open G uh, against the C sharp, or the G sharp against the C sharp here. So it's, and then thumb comes back on that root, and then just sort of hit that root and strum. So it's going to sound like this. You start out the song with a chord. Get your time together. Play that string with the, the nail on your first or second finger and come back on it. So you're playing it on a downstroke and an upstroke. Now you're ready to do the, do this, the first riff. Uh, and use, the, use your fingers on the B and the E string. Then use your thumb on the G. Get the D with your thumb and all the bass strings with your thumb. Later on, you're going to bring your thumb up to the B string when we do the, the, the riff at the end. OK, so the first part of the verse, we're just playing a single note as we sing. Here's the riff. Now we're going to go to the four chord. Keep your C position and move it up. So you get now you're at the four chord here, and you got a C chord. The G is open, and you got the E string uh, on the ninth fret. And you're gonna just strum that as you sing the second part of the verse. I'm going away. Same riff as we should the first time. And that picking and strumming. And now I go to G. I'm worried now. G to a G7. So I'm worried. Go to a half step from the F, G flat to the G. G to 7. Stop and sing. I won't be worried long. Now you're going to finish off the song with the reason why we want to do the song. It's a great riff at the end that he came up with. And it, it works like this. You're going to be use, using the B string to start the riff at the fifth fret. Play it with your thumb of your right hand. Use your second or first finger to play the open E right, at, right after the. Now move to the first fret, sorry, second fret, uh, first fret from the capo. And then add the, a, the G uh, string, second fret. So that's B string, fourth fret to the open E. To the B string, first fret. G string, second fret. Now you're playing the B and the G with your thumb. Now you're in position. Take your finger, second finger off and do your right hand. O the open E, the B at the first fret, and the G open. And the same thing again. And add the root. Third fret, E, A string. So it's going to go like this. So from the from the G, and I'm worried, but I won't be worried long. I'm going away to the world unknown. I'm going.
worried now, but I won't be worried long. And uh, he ends the song with just these three little notes.